Okay, my name is Kylie Schreiber. I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm a senior here at Valpo and I'm a political science and communications double major with a Spanish minor. That the name itself, the calling and purpose, it's something that I've had a difficult time deciding what that was for me over the last uh, three years and going on four. Um, I kind of had been told that I would be good, I would be a good law student, I would make a good lawyer, um, but then told that that's not a good idea, that it's not a good market, that it would be really hard and I would come out with a lot of debt. Anyway, so I've struggled a lot about what I'm going to do with my life after graduating. And so this just seemed like the perfect place to have a job and to be able to reflect on what that was going to mean for my future. Um, so that was a really good uh, decision making factor in making uh, in my application. Additionally, I have um, struggled to find internships that were pre-law that would pay. So I have um, had to choose other avenues of summer internships that maybe weren't as directed at what I wanted to do because of the financial factor. Mm -hmm. So to be able to do something that I knew would be related to a field I was interested in and not have to worry about that aspect of it over the summer was very important and I was happy to apply when I learned that that was going to be um, a factor. So my placement was in Mooresville, Indiana. It's a little bit south of Indianapolis and I was living downtown with two other CAPS fellows. The organization itself was Charitable Allies. It's a um, public interest law firm down there. They have clients that are nonprofits and charities themselves uh, all around the state of Indiana um, as well as in a few other states. So very effective, um, not a really big firm, but a good enough size. They get a lot of good work done. And uh, they're also a nonprofit themselves, so they kind of understand how that aspect of it works as well. Um, I talk about this a lot with people when they ask me, like, does this mean you're going to go to law school now? Um, because I was kind of hoping that it would be this experience that decided for me whether or not that was going to be what I did. This has not been some, a decision that I've taken lightly. I think some people know what they want to do and just do it. I have struggled to find that. So I figured that having an internship in a law firm um, and working uh, there for nine weeks would basically tell me if I would be good at that and if I would enjoy doing that. Um, yes, in some ways that was the case uh, and in others it was not. So. I do think that I would be able to go to law school and be successful as a lawyer. Um, I learned a lot about what it means to be a servant in a way that um, is, is just so it wasn't than really what I had the end all be all. It wasn't the final deciding factor in whether or not I'm going to go to law school, um, but it did give me a lot of questions to think about in what I think that I would be happy doing and who I would be happy serving in a career. And I was really thankful for that, and I think that not only the internship itself, but the resources that we were given outside of the workplace were really helpful in doing that too. So I reflected a lot about that in essays that I wrote and, and blogs and in conversations with people. And so I think that that's more what I got out of it, and definitely progress, maybe not clarity. <laughs> it's funny actually, I mean I've had a lot of work experience before, so this was the working from nine to five or what that was not new to me um, but what was was constantly being asked like how it was changing me what I was learning from it and that's good because when I go back and look at the internships I had two and three years ago I don't really remember the things that I learned from them or whether or not I want to continue to do those things I remember some things enough but this way, I've written out things, I've talked to people, had conversations about it with people that were going through the same experience as I was. And so that was a huge component of being able to work through what it was, what, how it was changing me and what it meant for me. Now, but there's obviously a lot of people that know kind of where they're going after this, what kind of professions um, match the uh, career path that they want to take. So. It's more than just trying out that profession to see if that's what you want to do, but this mentorship, it's learning, it's knowing 
how these people that you're working with are leaders in their community and um, not feeling uncomfortable asking those kinds of questions to them. So I met with Emily twice. She's a graduate of Alpo. She, I don't even remember what year she graduated in, but I, uh, we talked a lot about the path that her career has taken over the last five to 10 years. So I think that it was really helpful to see that that is going to change, like it or not. That even the best made plans that we have for ourselves, they change as we do. And so every experience that she's had um, post Valpo and including Valpo that were job experiences only got her closer to where she wanted to be. And so if I haven't completely figured out where I'm going after this, it's okay because every experience is just another step. Um, and I'm really happy about the step I got to take this summer with CAPS. And I'm really happy about the step I'm taking now as a senior and I'm more prepared and I'm more excited instead of